Okay, so now it's time to add a few more edges here. And in this case, I think I can go ahead and uh, do an edge loop. I'm going to add loop right there. And if I uh, uh, kind of hover over an edge, it will select the entire loop there, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and click there, and that's going to add a nice loop. And I can click and drag my mouse to where I want that to be. Okay, we'll go right here, and uh, yeah, let's let's bring it right about to right about there. Okay, and then again, let's go ahead. Oops, add that edge, select that edge, move it down. Ah, now we're moving on pretty quick. Now, um, I could go ahead and add some additional loops here, uh, but before I do that, let's go ahead and perspective view, and I want to. I want to go ahead and bring this, uh, uh, extrude these two polygons up to the top to be the top collar of this shoe. All right, of the shoe form. So I'm going to hit the B key for bevel. Bevel is also up here in the toolbox. And I'm going to bring up the uh, properties of the tool. And uh, if I, I'm going to pin it right there and I'm going to make, just make sure that group polygons is on and thicken is off sometimes it will retain the settings that you have on your last uh ex, or excuse me your last bevel function so you want to make sure that uh things are set the way you want them so I'm just going to move this up and there we go I'm going to go to the right view let's see is that right about where I want it yeah why not why not right about there it's fine Okay, again, let's go to the edges. Another thing that makes it kind of easy to work with is that if you are using the same function of move or same translation functions over and over again, rather than drop the tool each time, select uh, an edge or a component and uh, re-invoke the move tool, you can simply just click on this button here, but you have to be in some sort of, uh, you have to have uh, one of the translation tools active. And in this case, I have the move. I simply have to uh, just lasso select what I want to move. And then it'll automatically bring up the move tool. 